Lego Buff Productions here with another weekly update. And today I have a couple things to talk about. Uh, sorry, it's kind of hard to read. My marker kind of died there. But anyway, I'm going to talk about my mock on upcoming or some upcoming hauls and then a new series that I'm going to start on my channel. So, first thing is my mock. So, there hasn't been too much progress since last week. Uh, but I will show you what I've done. So first of all, over here in the mine area, you will see I finished putting up this wall. This is all secured. And I tiled uh, this whole part right here. I finished building it up. If you want to see what it looks like on the inside there, you can see that. And then the open areas you see like right here. And then right here, I just need some plates, uh, some one by 2 white bush gray plates to go there. Uh, so I have to order those off Bricklink, but I did tile it up and I built up the wall in the back there so you can see how that looks there. So, anyway, the main part of this is the second floor, so that's really what I worked on the most. And like I said last update, you won't see the whole first floor, I'll just show you kind of parts of it as I'm working on them anymore because I want to save that for the final mock video, but on the second floor... I have made an okay amount of progress. I would have liked to make a lot more. Oh, well, my goal was actually to finish the second floor. Uh, but the problem was I need a bunch more of these 6x6 dark blue scrap plates. And they're pretty expensive on Brooklyn, so I need to go to the Lego store to buy them. I'm going to buy a couple pick brick cups, maybe two or three uh, large pick brick cups of the 6x6 dark blue scrap plates. And I was unfortunately not able to go there this week. So I'm hoping I will be able to make it out there uh, next weekend, probably on Saturday, maybe even Friday. So I can pick up a bunch of these then, so I can finish off the whole second floor, and then I can start building up from there. But I wanted to give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like. So if we come from this side, move the light, there we go. You can see uh, this is what the final product would look like. Uh, obviously there will be like walls here. But this is what the floor will look like. So, on the bottom, it's dark bluish gray 6x6 plates. And then it's a layer of bricks, uh, regular size bricks. And then another layer of plates. And normally, people only do one layer of plates on the bottom. And no, like, middle layer or anything. And that's what I've always done in the past. But I've decided this is going to be a lot stronger because I need it to be very well supported because on modulars it's only one level of plates but uh, modulars aren't going to be this massive and I really need it to be strong and not to fall apart when I build it so this is really strong really firm and obviously once it's all built so it'll be even stronger so I do have enough 2x4 bricks that's just what goes in between you can see exactly what it looks like and then I just lay the 6x6 plates over them and then I worked on the cutout for the stairs. So again, this is what I'll try to move my light up a little more. There we go. This is what the cutout for the stairs will look like. Um, there will be a six by six plate right here. I can kind of just put this there. Like I said, they'll just be covering this whole area. But I just built the little cutout for the stairs, so you can see the size of that. And then I th I really think the openings look really cool. Uh, once I put the second floor on it really add some cool shaping there and the light looks are pretty cool the only thing I don't like is this side it's kind of just a square opening so I was kind of thinking I was originally planning to do something like this for the mine but I might end up putting it not this exact design but something kind of similar to it uh, if it'll stay right there like that uh, I don't know I'm not a huge fan of it kind of looks a little cheap um, but I'll probably end up putting something there so it's not just a square cutout. But it does give you a pretty cool, put the light so you can see through it, a pretty cool perspective uh, when looking through there. If we can look through this way too. So it is pretty cool once you put the second floor on. It does look pretty sweet. So that's it for the mock. Again, I will be ordering those parts uh, over the course of this week to finish off kind of the little nits and bits I gotta finish off there but anyway on upcoming hauls I'm really behind on my haul videos you probably see some pieces that 
I haven't had the whole videos up for her yet. I'm trying to get up to date with those. Uh, and then there will be a couple more coming soon with some sets that I bought. And then some huge ones coming on Black Friday. Uh, and then in the month of October and November, I will have some pretty big hauls there. So you can look forward to that. And finally, the new series. I'm thinking about starting a new series, uh, something with minifigures. Uh, I mean, obviously with minifigures. I don't know what the title of it will be. But, oh, whoops, knocked over a bin there. But it'll be reviewing special minifigures, whether they be customs or unique Lego minifigures that come in like poly bags, such as like Darth Revan. So not like these minifigures, but special unique ones that come in like their own poly bag or in exclusive things like. This Vitruvius here. And then customs, like Clone Army Customs, I have Commander Gregor here. So that's what I'll be. It'll be a new series. I'm not, again, not showing the name of that. But uh, I figured it'll kind of give you guys a cool look at some interesting minifigs if you're considering buying them off eBay or somewhere because uh, you can't get them anymore. So that does it, or that finishes it off for this weekly update. Again, don't forget to check out my channel for some other awesome Lego videos. And have a great day.